TV. Right. Y'all watching Next Fan TV. All right, bro. Thanks, man. Is it game over for Melo? That's, that's the question for the chat. This is the question I have for you people at home. This is the question I have for you, Jay Ellis. Is it game over for Melo? Ten games into his tenure as a Houston Rocket. That's crazy. Melo is gone. Not mm. even his best friend, CP3. Not even his dog, James Harden. Save him. Crazy. I mean, I, yo, it's just... Did, did Antonio have it out for him from the jump, dog? I mean, the way they broke up, it was hard to see that ever working, though, JLs. It was hard to see that ever working. So you thought they, you thought they, they, they fake made up? <laughs> I mean, obviously, they had to have had some sort of, you know, um, amicable or some sort of agreement for, for Melo to sign. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure they talked, and they're professionals at the end of the day, and they probably said, you know, we'll keep it a professional relationship. But, um, you know, some Knicks fans, I don't know what, what side you guys in the chat are on. Some Knicks fans just say, you know, F Melo to hell with them, and others, like me, um, I'll always be a Melo fan. You know what I'm saying? That was my favorite. Yeah, that was my favorite player of this era. Um, and, you know, yo, beast, beast. We, 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 we don't even have to go through, you know, what Melo had, had, you know, accomplished with his play. Not with with his accomplishments, but with his play, you know, from college straight through. I mean, yeah, man. one of the best offensive players to ever play the game. You can't even deny that. You, you know That's what I'm saying? But, Hall, Hall of Famer for sure. Yeah. My yeah. respect for Melo when he did in New York, even though it didn't end well, always going to have love for Melo. Always going to have love for him. Yeah. Always going to be rooting for Melo. Yeah. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what team he plans on going to. I don't know. Maybe he has with the Celtics or something. Who knows? Maybe That's Philly. That's so weird. Maybe, know, maybe the Celtics, Lakers. You know. You know. But <laughs> it, yo, but it's like, man, like, he's only 34, and you got some people saying he should retire, man. What do you think? Do you think he should hang it up, or do you think he? he... Nah, I seen T Max say he should retire, but I don't think so. I don't bro. agree with that, man. I don't agree with that. I think he got some game left. I, I, obviously, he, he he's not as spry as he used to be. He's not gonna be able to, you know, play defense like he, he used to. But I feel like he can still be a terror for like a second unit and put up numbers. And he just dropped thirty. Like, on the Nets, on the bum uh, ass Nets. Yeah, he just dropped thirty on the bum ass Nets. I <laughs> On Elmo Fudd's head, and then you get cut flat the next week. That's just crazy. Yeah, I... it was all good just a week ago. Yeah, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Now people say sabotage. You know, D Wade, LeBron saying he got sabotaged. Stephen Jackson saying, "Oh, it's on Capella." Now Stephen Jackson. Now he's like, he, he's like, he's a, he's become a talking head on social media. If you haven't noticed, he jumps on the gram. It's just, oh yeah, oh you know, he loves it. Stephen Mad Jax, as they call oh, him. Oh man, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Stephen Jackson loves that that social media outlet, man, because he could just be himself, curse out everybody in the league. And I have to worry about no fines, no repercussions, man. Steven Jackson, shout out Steven Jackson. But um I you know, some people say the Rockets sabotaged them. Some people say Melo's done. I think it's a little bit of both. You know what He's I'm still saying? Down, definitely. What you uh and Mark Spears, shout out Mark Spears, great, great writer, man, with ESPN the undefeated. Um he he interviewed John Lucas, um, who's a who's a famed uh, NBA player and NBA, um, just a regular. He's an NBA lifer, man, and he's a guy mm-hmm. that the players respect. He counsels a lot of players. And John Lucas said, "Listen, you know, um, it's, you know, you gotta live with it. You, you gotta, you gotta, you you have to deal with the ego and and the ego and and the business side of basketball, and you have to put that in check. That's the only way that you'll achieve longevity in the league. You have to put your ego aside, you know." What he what John Lucas said was that um, there would have been times when Melo might get five minutes or not even play, mm. you, you know, and they didn't want to do that to him. That's that's coming from the Rockets. There's two sides to everything, right? So mm. coming from the Rockets, they basically said, um, you know, it, it, you know that he just wasn't fitting. Obviously, his defense is taking a step back. And obviously, his offense, we know all Melo's offense. He's, he's a hard-headed offensive player. And it's just clunk, it's a clunky fit sometimes. And they mm. were saying it was better off just letting him go, find a better opportunity, because he just wasn't going to get the opportunity with, with the Rockets. So, Yikes. 
Let's see, Ooh, it's like know, hard to watch. It's man. hard to watch, man. It's, it's hard to watch, man. That that was my guy. You know, that was my guy. Even though the trade, obviously, playing devil's at, you know, playing Monday morning quarterback in hindsight, the trade was a terrible trade. We knew the trade was a terrible trade when he came in. Yeah, man, he should have waited. He should have waited, and we knew that. We knew that from the beginning. Yeah. But, you know, we were we were in this in this patch where we were just so losing, t- so tired of losing, that the prospect of having, you know, one of the best players in the game at the time mixed with Omari, even though it wasn't a good match, it was still, we, we yeah. ignored it just for the sake of seeing some highlights. And at the time, I felt like, I don't think we was even bad at the time. I think we were, like, right at 500 or something like that. Like, eight and nine and eight or something when we made that trade. Mm. So it wasn't even like we were super Donnie. I don't know. Just Walsh got too trigger happy at, at the time, and we yeah, we, the whole team. We could have, we could have built something. Maybe yeah, we got a lot farther anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we'll, we'll never know. You know, people want to blame Dolan for it. Um, some people want to blame Dolan for it, but I guess we'll never know. I, I guess we'll, we'll never know what it really was. Um, it's tough to see, man. You never want to see somebody go out like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, maybe the sun is set for Melo, man. Maybe, maybe the sun is set for Melo. I encourage Mello to Brooklyn. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, somebody said that. Yo, one thing's for sure: do not bring him here, please. I mean, I nah, see. Nah, man. Yeah, nah. I see now. I see all these these beat writers like. And listen, I don't knock the media because journalism is. I respect the craft. I don't call myself a journalist. We just talk Knicks. That's how Pretty I. Pretty much. See. You know what I'm saying, but. You know, when when I see these publications that are fairly respected right now in today's media talk about, oh, the best thing for Melo to do is go to the Knicks or Melo to the Knicks, they should welcome him back. I'm like, yo, what are these dudes talking about? What are we talking about here? They weren't here when we were here, dog. Were they they here? Like, they weren't here, dog. They weren't. They weren't here that last year. They weren't. It was was chaos. And... I wouldn't even want to do that to Melo. We're at the bottom no, of the man. right now. We're trying to develop players, and Melo's going to want playing time. And this is not the situation right now for Melo. It's not. It's just like, stop with the clickbait. These public, whether it's, whether it's good news or bad news, they just always want to get Knicks fans' emotions stirred up and into the fray. You know, not one of these people even care to do some research to see, hmm, we have no roster spot for him. Ooh. We're rebuilding. And we just came yep. off a terrible breakup. Like, no, no, it's not going to happen. Not Stop happening. with the clickbaity articles, man. But this Go one, ahead. this one by Mark Spears, I encourage everyone to read. I pull it up. Um, and shout out ESPN Undefeated. Love that publication. Um, they, they got some really good writers. Shout out Justin Tinsley, my fellow alum, Hampton U. And, and Mark Spears, man, my two favorite writers over there. It's a good article on Melo, man. He interviews um, John Lucas. He interviews Nene, too, Jails. And that's why for the people that say that the Rockets sabotaged him, they interviewed Nene, and Nene was like, yo, listen, um, even I had to, you know, put my ego in check and accept a lesser role for the sake of, you know, extending my career. And he was like, Melo has to do the same thing. That's, yo, funny. that's coming from a former teammate, bro. Yo, it's funny. I yo, I mentioned this last year. I was talking to my friends. I'm like, I was talking to, on the podcast. I was like, will Melo have himself out of the league by not taking a lesser yeah. role? Yep. Because we've seen this thing happen to Iverson mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at the end of his career. Where he bro, that is like the command. same exact thing that happened to AI, man. Exact thing. He went, and at the last, this last years, he kept going from team to team to team to team because, and pouting on the bench because he wasn't getting the minutes. He thought he deserved more. And it all went bad for him at the end. Yeah. If he just accepts his role and get, plays the minutes he gets, then he could be, he could, he could have another few years. That that's a fact, man. AI alluded to that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull it up. AI had a tweet um, that basically said the same exact thing. Oh, word! AI tweeted. Yeah, well, oh, well, he tweeted. Um, his tweet said, uh, "Same fight, different round. Mellow, keep fighting." 
Wow. And it showed them. It showed them in in the Denver Nuggets, man. Same exact thing happened to AI, man. Why AI could exactly. not last? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's tough. And it's like I said, that article by uh, Mark Spears, man, it goes back to what John Lucas was saying. He was saying, you know, you got to be able to put your ego in check and and realize that the game is passing you by day by day. The, the game is passing you by. And you have to be able to um, to adjust. You know, you see D-Wade. D-Wade is adjusting well. He went back home. Yeah. He's coming off the bench. You know, even when he was in Cleveland, he said, yo, listen, I'm not working out in the starting rotation. Put me on the bench. Yeah. He, Some he guys can do it. He, and the crazy part about that, too, is he embraced it, one. And yeah. two, like, they're not, not Carmelo, but, you know, D. Wade and, and LeBron, they kind of worked on their body a lot more during the offseason. It was even, when you were able yeah. to work on your body, you can preserve Facts. a lot longer. So, and D. Wade is somebody who I thought was going to be out. A while ago, I thought Flash was gonna be long gone. I thought Flash was two, two years, two years or in overtime. I feel like Flash is in me, overtime. Me too, because he just he hit the way he played and hit the floor so much. I was just like, oh, he's yeah. out of here soon. Yep. He ain't gonna last. Facts. But <laughs> he did something right. He's still here. He's still kicking. Facts, man. That that that's a fact. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know. Shell Savvy says hashtag Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, and that's and that's how we'll end the Damn. mellow segment. <laughs> listen, man. Um, listen, I, I I hope it works out for him. Uh, like I said, a tough way to end. I hope it's not the end for Mello. I hope he wins a ring. You know, I hope he wins a ring to to cap that's off right. his career. Um, not gonna work out here, but yo, to be cap to Mello. To be kept. We'll, we'll talk about Mellow Legacy and all that when he officially wraps it up. But um, but now we we'll just we we'll just keep watching, man. I just I, I just hate all the slander on the internet on Mellow. I just hate it. I don't yeah, like we'll, we'll, we'll see he's on that. Yeah, I, I, don't like I don't like it. But uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. Comes with the territory of being an athlete, man. Comes with territory. Yeah.